What's up, gang? I hope everybody is doing well. Big shout out and much love to my Patreon family, my Discord family, my YouTube family. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Um, to know more about me, if you're new to my channel, um, you can go to my website, MagicalFlowersTarot.com. Um, they call me Mama Magical Child. So listen, y'all asked me to pull up on Suki. Okay, so we're going to pull up on Suki. <laughs> Suki Yana, that is. Um, we just gonna look at it into her energy, you know, the energies that surround her. You guys go watch part one of my Sukiana video. I believe I did a part one. <laughs> you know, we all know who she is for the most part. Um, we know that she came from, you know, spiritual beginnings, you know, head wrap, all of that. And um, we've seen her in the news for all kinds of antics, right? So let's just look at the energy around um our good sis sookie and see how she doing in these holly weird streets child um we've already called well i've already called down the stairs before i started recording so we can just jump right into this sukiana 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 oh okay they ready to speak oh okay come on child mm. soulmate reverse and sex reverse sukiana sukiana i ain't gonna hold y'all the spirits are ready to speak. They are already flipping my cards, child. So let's see what comes out. Mm. Mm. Career. Come through, spirit. Spirit come through every time, right? Okay, so spirits let us know that this is definitely the energy that surrounds her career. Sex reverse. When we get sex reverse, that's usually a very, very deviant sexual energy it could be the energy and i'm definitely considering them the supporting energy around it the supporting card which is abuse sexual abuse um that could be you know we know she's grown you know but that could just be um sexual you know deviousness in your actions and in your ways it doesn't always mean the r word or the m word you know in this case and i don't feel like that's what this is talking about because it's around her career right um blessings the opposite of blessings is cursed we already know that soulmate so when i talk to you guys about soulmate those who have these th my deck which is now back on my website shout out to all those who requested it y'all sold it out twice she's back for a temporary time but soulmate is not always romantic right like i tell you guys soulmate is sometimes your heavenly mate you know it's your ancestors you know things of the, you know spiritual guides and you know those spirits that walk with you sometimes when this reverse that means there's some sort of discord or disconnection there and she's opening herself to all sorts of deviant spirits as well and lower vibrational energy that is attracted to those type of things it has closed some of her roles to her opportunities and blessings and there's a lot of shame on this um spread not following her gut mm in months so we got a timeline with her <laughs> we got a timeline to her so we see we have close your mouth it's reverse so that's the opposite of closing your mouth it's talking it's being verbal it's vocal something may come out with her see the thing with slicky is that she knows better intuition she doesn't follow her into um her into uh intellectual intuition her intelligence of her into the intelligence of her intuition so she knows that so it's like they used to say like that saying, you know, once you know better, you do better, you know, and it's the opposite of that. You know, once you become, once you are in the know, you are accountable for those things. So it's like the lesson's going to keep hitting you and hitting you. They're going to hit you harder, right? And we got this timeline. So y'all, something may come out. Something may reveal itself as it relates to her. And then we got another timeline, year, months and a year. So probably by the end of this year, 2023. So I'm going to pull some more cards. And then we're going to get into the tarot. See what else comes out. She's not protected. She had to do what she had to do to level up. And she's continuing to sacrifice herself time and time again for, with um, <laughs> trying to get to that pinnacle of her career protection and health she better be careful in that health area there's vulnerability there um she needs to really really be careful especially because we had that sex card reverse that came out so she needs to protect the cat <laughs> you know um which is just what we all should be doing you know that's no shade at all we all as women and men should be 
careful in that area but she really better be careful about it because the spirits are talking heavily with that and then they're saying the third person so it could come from someone else you know all for the level up all for the come up right and then we have shock we have another timeline shock um it says brace yourself shit is about to get real within weeks with her and her ancestors are speaking because like i said when you know better, you do better. And she knows better. She knows all about the spiritual realm, right? Energy. She knows all about energy. And energy is reversed, low vibrational. Her children. You know, we are, people always bring up how she has sure she talks about her children. You know, happiness. Initiate. This is a confirmation card. Children. The happiness of her children. The protection of her children is, you know, she needs to... Make sure she's protecting her children. <clears throat> so we're going to get into the tarot. And I'm going to ask the same question as far as her energy, her current energy. And how she's doing at this time in her life. So Gianna, so Gianna, so Gianna, so Gianna, show us the energy that currently surrounds her at this time. It's not about what we want to know, but what we need to know. It's like she's on somebody's payroll. Whatever she offered to the spirit, she must return it. She better make sure that whatever she offered, whatever she promised, she, she needs to make sure that she holds up her end of the bargain with that because her the star is reversed, a fallen star. Your light being dimmed. And that has happened to her by way of all the things that she has picked up along the way. We have that moon reversed. We know that can... That's a very, very spiritual energy. And when it's reversed, it's dark. Once again, things beneath the surface, things are not what they seem. When we look in the dark, all kinds of things look different, right? Until we turn on the lights. So that's kind of that energy. This also talks about conflict within herself, especially as it relates to this moon card. This is the conflict within herself as well. This is her as the page of pentacles. You know, she came in, she came in sort of headstrong but she see she lost her way she looks really unhappy especially spiritually really unhappy and she definitely somebody definitely has the vice grips on her someone is definitely controlling her but whatever she offered them spirits she must make sure that she pays up with that too because they're coming see somebody been threatening to take everything away from her this talks about losses walking away from things that you know once brought you comfort come through high priestess because she knows better. She dibble and dabble into magic. Spiritual things. This is her. And she also went to someone for some help too. She better pay them back. And we already know the seven. <laughs> when we see the seven of swords, you already know what time it is. But when it's reversed, sometimes it's, it talks about things coming out. Truths being revealed. I feel like this is relating to that moon card as well. That's what that card can mean sometimes when it's reversed. You know, all of a sudden knowing the truth about something. She is out of control of her life. And this talks about seasons changing, something changing. Cycles. She's so mentally trapped, her soul is entrapped. Let me spell the knuckle bones. Lots of cash into the back of every decision made with the Lord. There's no energy that's around for Tiana at this time. Mm. So, this talks of mm. so this is her current energy right now. This is talking about evil people around her, very um, entitled people, people that are just sucking and sucking and sucking her dry, don't care about her health. Don't care about her soul. Don't care about her as a person. This is talking about maliciousness. People that come with evil, evil intent and spiritual attachments. Once again, these people that she dealt with, it's like their spirits jumped onto her. So it's like she's not even in control of herself. Almost like a spiritual puppet. Um, her ancestors are telling her 
you know, to be careful because this is causing a lot of misfortune and loss in her life. So she better be careful. This also talks about separations and painful endings and losing things as well. And it's a very mental energy too, a depression, someone who goes down in rabbit holes. She is a blessed person though. But we see, we can close ourselves from our blessings. We can block our own blessings. We can shut down our own roads. This talks about a lot of conflicts around here and setbacks, around her and setbacks and also disappointments as well. This also speaks about legal matters and things like that too. Legal matters, legal issues. Mm, the same thing. It's a lot of evil around her. It's a lot of evil people around her. Spirits. She better be careful. Once again, though, <clears throat> things can possibly turn around for her, especially with this Wheel of Fortune card. But she doesn't want to wait, you know, until it's too late. Everything can't be fixed, but... You can try to make some things right. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what is more energy that surrounds her career? Okay, hmm. Holly Weird. <laughs> Holly Weird coming straight out, right? Hmm, they really got her mind money. Money, 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 money. See, the things that she has done to try to get her recognized by these holly weird ass people has definitely cost her. It cost her greatly. It cost her so. This full reverse talks about someone who has caused so much, who has been so reckless in their ways, right? That they not only have harmed others, they harm themselves as well. We, we do know she has family who loves her. You know, these things can trickle down and affect them. You, we already know that our ways as humans, period, do affect other people. It's just no way around it, right? But she definitely does have. So the temperance to me, it speaks about her guardian angels, her ancestors. So they're still there. They have not completely... She may have... Sh quote unquote straight away in some of her ways but they can still be called back you know but she has to be willing to make those sacrifices she has to wait be willing to make those sacrifices but she's so weighed down she's so weighed down by all the things that she has invested herself into you know and there she go again she's so weighed down She's made spiritual packs. Once again, that's coming through. Queen of Cups reverse. This also talks about someone who's extremely emotionally unhappy and unbalanced. It can talk about depression as well and being disconnected from one's spirits. Queen of Scores, Swords is, is a very um, cold energy that surrounded her. Very unhappy, once again. Misfortune and loss. Judgment. Your character. And we already know the judgment card sometimes can be a call to action. Hence that trump, that trump, that trumpet that is be. I'm okay, y'all. I'm over here teaching. Y'all can come to my clear, <laughs> my tarot class that I do every Tuesday, every week, y'all. Just come to the Discord because I'm not gonna prolong the reading trying to teach tarot. Okay, let's get to the next question. So that's just the energy around her career. And that judgment card, that is a very heavy energy. That talks about your soul. If you think about the energy, I know I said I wasn't going to teach, but if you think about the images on the ter I mean, on the judgment card, you see all those bodies. They're naked. They're vulnerable. They're exposed, right? Then the color is gray. That talks about soulness. And the gray color is also, also speaks about unbiasedness, baby. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. If you open up yourself to certain things, you are going to get certain results. None of us are always, none of us are feel, uh, fully immune to cause and effect, right? It's karma. Okay, so I want to know, does she have any regrets at this point? Remember she came out with that video crying. That was at one point she was having regrets. Let's see how she feel now. Once again, the fool, karma, the sun. Holly weird. Come through spirit. Here it goes right here. Hmm. 
It's like, it's almost like sometimes when you just get numb to something, you don't even feel. It's hard for her to feel like that at this point. But see, she's made those packs with Hollyweird. You know, regret, it's almost too late for regret. You've already, you've already put your beard in with things. Look at that big ass red flag. She should have been careful. Her spirit tried to warn her. Now she's all off balance, spiritually and emotionally. And once again, the high priestess does talks about the unseen things, the cult, cult, mystery, darkness. She's blocked. Once again, that conflict, that inner conflict within herself. The Empress card is a very, um, it's an earth element. It's like she leans more towards the material world than the spiritual world. Mm, that burden card. That means you in debt. Okay, so is she safe? I mean, I guess that's kind of an obvious question, right? But I'm going to ask it anyway, just for the sake of the video and the reading. Is she safe? What y'all think, y'all? I think it's too late for Miss Ikiana. Hmm. <laughs> the people that she surrounds herself with. They ain't the ones. They not it, like y'all be saying. It's not it. Holly weird. No, she is not. As a matter of fact, that seven of cups that you know that when someone is in a deep, deep delusion about things, not seeing clearly, not having, she feels hopeless. Seven of cups can talk about someone feeling hopeless in the way of, by way of, you know, when it's upright, we know that that talks about choices many choices an array of choices they have so many choices it's, it's just the world is up for grabs to them but it's reverse sometimes you feel like you have no choice and we have holly weird right here knight of swords she does have a lot of mental stress she does she looks like she might she might have some anxiety too she might have some anxiety and that 10 reverse the 10 can talk about completions and endings right but in reverse it ain't no completion or ending keep going because you owe us you owe us. It's how, <laughs> and it's talking about a lot of spiritual and highly weird things here. Her friends, these packs that she has made, two of cups reversed. This talks about those spiritual packs that she has made with people. And they want to be paid. <laughs> they want to be paid in blood. However, she promised to pay, you know. Hmm. She got to keep on going. She can't stop. It ain't about regret no more. It's about fulfilling one's debts, offers, and promises, especially to those spirits. Hmm. But once again, the hangman does, does it. The hangman talks about epiphanies, changes, routines, hobbies, um, just a switch up in something, but it's reversed. So once again, there's no stopping. Like the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles tell us, there's no stopping. There's no completion. You have to keep going until they're done with you. She better be careful of her home. Because there it goes once again. They watch her. They watch her. <clears throat> it's all, and this might be kind of left field, left field, but it's it's making me think about is it the is it Harvey Epstein or Jeffrey Epstein? Y'all tell me in the comments that island that people used to go to and do things there, sexual things. It's almost like y'all, my, my family know y'all been with me since day one. Eyes wide shut. It's like that. It's like she's that girl. Those girls that used to come come there to those parties. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's let's look into the future a little bit. We still let's just see what some, you know, recent, some um near future events. Because we know that the tarot is best for current events. But let's see if we can see if we can just see some near future events. Hmm. The company she keeps, three, of three is the number of communication, the deals that she made, the spirits that she has communicated with, the people that she chose to deal with. I feel like she tried to plan her exit at one point, but she still got that. See that 
they still highly dominate. Oh, the emperor is a very dominating energy. And to me, six of cups in this does talk about her past. It can talk about the ancestors. They already, like, the ancestor card and already came out, child. So we know her ancestors are speaking. But this talks about nostalgia, rep, you know, reminiscing on the past when she was younger, just wishing she can go back to that innocence, but that is just too late. Queen of Wands is who she is. She's very sexual now. And then they got that emperor and look at his face. It looks stern, right? Serious. But I do feel like, you know, she's going to try to come out of this in the future two of wands and then we have the um the seven of cups i'm hope i'm getting my math right <laughs> so this energy definitely lets me know and this talks about a spiritual journey too i feel like she may try to come back to that innocence we're gonna see though sometimes we gotta learn some it's gonna be some more hard lessons she gonna have to learn first though before she can get this back before she can get back to this you know and will we ever really be innocent once we've been through it's been exposed to so much but she has to break away from these people that she that she's dealing with she's going to need some spiritual help the empress is healing it's healing energy so there is like like i thought for her there it is not too i don't feel like it's too too late for her i feel like you know we can't we can't fix everything all the time depending on the things that we have done but we can try to make things better we can try to she could go to her ancestors to try to soften you know the things that are coming her way or even try to divert them all together but only only she knows the packs that she's made but she's not happy with herself but it's like it's a, it, it's not that she's a gimmick but it's like this is the gimmick that she sold herself for some people just want fame so bad they're just willing to do whatever they can to get their attention. Whatever they can do to get the attention, they're gonna get it. Yeah, she's gonna have to separate. And this talks about she has, she's taking some losses, y'all. She's taking some losses, but she is going to have to separate herself from the people that she's been around and her ancestors they standing up very strong and these knuckle bones they're demanding support and assistance they're talking about them uh actually bringing her assistance too um physical and spiritual she might get she might get you know what this this speaks about love as well a new romantic relationship we might see silky stepping out with somebody soon we might see, but nonetheless, her ancestors are, are warning her. She's going to have to separate. She's going to have to take some losses to win. It, it's just no way around it. She's going to have to keep putting in the effort to make herself better. She cannot give up. She cannot be down on herself. She cannot feel lost. She cannot feel hopeless. That will be her detriment if she does that. But their they're ancestors, they're, they're, they're asking. They're, they're trying to give assistance. They're promising that. But she's going to have to do what she has to do on her end her own end as well and that's for anybody that does spiritual work it's certain commitments that you have to uphold certain deals that you have you have to uphold the end of your deals too because anything you know um we ask for ask for from the spirits we must give something for it that's just the law of reciprocation okay so before we close just gonna see pull some more cards just to conclude the reading any final messages as it relates to Sisiana? Mm. Pregnant. Yeah. Oh, child. Learn the lesson. That's that karmic energy career. They watch, like I said, watching her. They've been watching her. No, she hasn't learned the lesson just yet, though. Once again, her career. And we know that pregnant also can speak about uh, a spiritual thing, too. It doesn't, like I tell you guys, it's not always physical. Spiritual transformation. Newness. Giving birth to something. So that, once again, to me, this is just kind of confirming that she does have a chance. She does have, a, there is a second chance for her, but she got to make the necessary sacrifices to start anew. But they watching her like an MF for y'all. Holly Weird, they're not playing no game. She must have really did a lot of things, y'all, to get where she at right now. Boundaries are weak. Her children, she needs to be careful because children keeps coming up. Magic, I just said, she must have did a lot of things to get where she is. Whether y'all feel like she high or low, 
She's still on our TV. She's still down our timeline. She got that attention she wanted, right? But at what cost? She needs to protect her children, though. Blessings reverse again. Abusive, physical, sexual, mental, and verbal abuse. By way of so-called friends. Responsibility. The spirit just says time to get your shit together and don't step up. Like I said, she has second chance. She does have a second chance. She's going to close her mouth. That close your mouth year, months. Clean. Come through, spirit. I just said it. Cleanse. This is at the bottom of the deck. She has a second chance. Her spirits are telling her what she has to do. Because her blessings are blocked. She's going to have to get away. All to level up. I like how they in alignment. She's going to have to align herself. But this lover's card is coming up. And the knucklebone just spoke of romance with her. So we'll see. It might be another Kill Bill. It might be a Kill Bill part two. <laughs> so thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Once again, my, my Ma Mama Magical deck is that. Get to the website. Um, if you want to join the Discord, definitely inbox me. Send me a message or call the number on the screen or text it. Ask me how. All the links are down in the comments. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about Silky Yana. Let's send some good, loving, healing, uplifting energy to our sister, right? Until then, y'all, y'all be safe out here in these streets. I say.